Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you can probably tell from the background that I am somewhere completely different today. So I'm actually in Chester uh, for a couple of days, um, just like two to three days just while Martin's on a training course. Um, so of course I follow him around everywhere he goes like a little lap dog. Obviously it's still locked down um, so I'm not really going anywhere. I'm gonna get a Starbucks this morning. Yes, I am that basic. Um, I went to get a Starbucks, which is obviously a takeaway. Popped to Tesco for some dinner and that's it. There's nothing open, so I can't really go anywhere. I mean, I might go for a walk later to see what's around, but that's about it. But I mean, it's completely fine. Obviously, we want everyone to be safe. So, for today's video, I thought I would do another Sheen haul and I realised I think I've got the exact same jumper on that I had last time I did a Sheen haul. Coincidence, I think not. But this is literally just one of those like scruffy jumpers that you shot on. Living out of a suitcase, I tend to just wear the same things over and over again, which is why I love going back to Martin's mum and dad's house because I actually have all of my clothes available and can dress in, other, in things other than joggers and leggings. <laughs> Which feels nice. And I've got no makeup on for this video. Did I have makeup on for the last video? No, literally, I have no makeup on again. Um, sometimes we feel a bit funny about doing videos with no makeup on. Um, I feel like I should make some sort of effort, but it's not like I'm doing a makeup video. Um, and this is how my face is probably 95% of the time. I did makeup at the weekend just because I wanted to dress up. I put some nice clothes on. Um, I did my makeup wanted to make an effort because I'm like I said I'm always just wearing leggings joggers and have a pale face um, but I'm just gonna keep it real this is this is how I am 95% of the time but I hope you don't mind my old now wrinkly face <laughs> okay so like I said for today's video I'm gonna do a Shein haul um, I did one before um, but like I said in my last video I've shopped on Shein for literally the past maybe two years um, and only just did a haul on my channel and I think in my last video I must have been I was having a really bad day because I remember being so miserable um I think I was just having one of those days you know how I always do um so hopefully this one will be a bit more upbeat but we've got winter clothes here and honestly this box um is like not special but it's lovely because I actually didn't have any money to get any new clothes um and I really needed some well I didn't need I didn't need new clothes. I really wanted some new winter clothes because I have probably about like three jumpers and that's it. Um, I don't really have anything for the cold weather and Martin kindly, being the most loveliest person that he is, bought what was in my shame basket, which was what I'm gonna show you today as like a nice little treat, which is so lovely. Um, but I just thought that was so cute and I'm so thankful. Um, and I'm gonna probably stop rambling and show you the clothes. Let me just take a sip. I got an iced vanilla latte for everybody that actually cares. I'm joking, you obviously don't care. I really, I wanted to try something new. They've got the Christmas menu up. Um, they've got gingerbread, but I'm not into hot coffees anymore. And I didn't know whether, uh, do they even do an iced gingerbread latte? Is that a thing? I don't know. And would I like it? I don't know. So I just stuck to my staple, not that you care. <laughs> anyway. Let's get into the stuff. Now, I have wore some of this stuff because I got the box and I was like, like I said, at the weekend, I just wanted to wear nice clothes. Um, so two, no, I have one thing that I wore at the weekend. The other thing I washed and left at mine's mum and dad's house. Um, but I mean, that's fine. I just wanted to wear something nice and make an effort. Um, but I, I am gonna show you one of the things that I wore. Actually, I wore something yesterday as well. So I'll show you that as well. Okay, so the first thing I got well, that I'm going to show you anyway, is this jumper. Now, let me just see the tag on this. Yeah, so I saw this and I thought I needed it. Like, I actually wore this yesterday, so it might be a bit crinkled. So it says, Sanderson Witch Museum, home of the Black Flame Candle. And if you know Hocus Pocus, then you know that this is a Hocus Pocus jumper. And I know... Um, Halloween is over, but it's, you know, it, do it doesn't need to be Halloween to represent the Sanderson sisters, I mean. Um, yeah, I saw it and I was like, oh, I love Hocus Pocus. It, believe it or not, I have not watched it this year. I didn't watch it all the Halloween. I decided to watch scary movies instead. 
but I love Hocus Pocus, so I thought I would order this. Now, my problem with this is, this is the size of the jumper. I ordered an XL, and this says on the tag it is an XL, because I wanted it to be like a baggy, oversized. Now, this to me is not an XL. This is a medium, 100% a medium. Like, it's not baggy on me, it's not oversized. I wore it with leggings yesterday and it literally comes to like my hips and it's not baggy. It's like, it's when you pull it down, it's quite a tight fin, 100% um, not XL. Okay, so that's the first thing I bought and to be fair, the material is lovely. It's really thick. Like I say, apart from the size and issue, I loved it. Um, really, really nice. Okay, so the next thing I ordered, which is something that I wore at the weekend, um, is this skirt here. There we go. So it just cinches in at the waist and it's just a long midi skirt and it has a slit here down the leg, which is lovely. And I wore this with like a little cardigan jumper, tucked in um, and I had a belt on it, which I'll show you with some shoes, a very wintry um, inspired. Uh, so yeah, now my issue with this is that I'm not sure if it came like this or if me wearing it has done this, but like on my body, it wasn't tight. Um, you know, it wasn't like, you know, when you try something on, you're like, whoa, this is not fitting in. I'm having to breathe in. Um, it started to get a hole in here. I'm not sure if you can see there. You can see where it's frayed. It's the material started to rip, um, which is really disappointing. So I'm not sure if it came like that or if it just happened with me wearing it. Either way, it shouldn't have happened with me wearing it um because i literally had it on for a day it wasn't tight uh obviously it's happened when i've like sat down in the car or something so i've tried to stitch it together uh but martin said to send it back um but i'm not too sure i really really like it and i think it was like nine pounds which is fine the material is really thin so if it's like a super cold day i would probably wear some tights with it um but yeah i'm not sure whether i should send it back or not is anyone else like that? Like, you hate sending stuff back? Like, I absolutely do. Like, I'd, the amount of times, like, something's came and it's the wrong size and I've just, like, kept it or give it away or something. Because I just hate sending stuff back. Anyway, that's that. And the next thing I got, which I wore with this outfit, is this belt here. It's just your standard little buckly belt. Very good, um, very good size. Although you can't, I don't think you could pick a size. I think it's supposed to be, like, one size fits all. Um, but yeah, this was fine, really fine. I think there's a lot of room in it. Um, it was lovely, it's really good material, really good leather. Um, I'm not sure how much this was. Oh, actually, it was like three pounds, I think, three or four pounds. Um, and I really needed a belt because the only other belt that I have is way too big. Um, you know, when you have like excess uh strap and it was just too long and I couldn't tuck it in, so this one's perfect. So, this did me. Fine. And then all is in here. Okay, this is like a jumper dress. Um, I haven't worn this. I mean, it doesn't look the most flattering, to be honest. But my idea with this was to wear it and then pop the belt around it. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm not seeing, this is why I can't do fashion videos. Wear it, pop the belt around the middle, um, you know, with some tights and some boots. Um, it looks very boxy, but honestly, like I haven't wore it and it's not fitted to my body. Uh, but yeah, I've never worn anything like this before, to be honest. I don't really wear winter stuff, hence the fact that I don't have any. Um, but I thought I would try it and the colour, there was loads of different colours but I thought I would just get grey because you can't really go wrong. With grey you can sort of, you know, it looks very wintry, you can wear it with a lot of black which I do want a lot of black boots and um, yeah, I don't know what else I was going to say there, I own black boots. Oh I also did get this gorgeous coat um, but I've left it in Stockton and well it's not a coat, it's a jacket and I love it so much and it's so cosy. I do not have it with me 
so maybe I will shut a picture in of it on the website but oh my god I love it so much I had that on with my outfit at the weekend and Martin was like you look so fashionable and I just I felt really good I felt like I should be like walking through New York um, with like the snow falling and you know just like on a Christmas rom-com movie <laughs> so the next thing that I got is this oversized jumper and again I just thought I could wear this with maybe some leggings or some tights and boots and this is actually really really oversized and this is just a size medium so I feel like the hocus pocus one and this should have like swapped sizes because this is definitely feels more of like an XL but it's supposed to be oversized like it's labeled as oversized this one whereas that one is not supposed to be although you would think an XL would be anyway yeah I just got this and I just thought it was kind of cute I know my color scheme is pretty boring like black and grays yeah I guess I'm kind of boring anyway <laughs> when it comes to color um but yeah I got this and it just says uh be true love will never die stay true all the cheesy crap on it but i thought like i said this would be nice with some tights or some leggings uh and some boots see i'm not like i said i'm not very stylish so when it comes to creating outfits i probably need all the help i can get i suppose okay so that one's that Ah, okay. This I got because I saw Jordan Lipscomb got when she did her recent Sheen haul. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, but it probably looks better on her than it will on me. Anyway, it's this Coward set. So you might recognise it if you've seen her videos. And it's literally just like a crop jumper, one side white, one side black. And then it comes with a pair of trousers and again one side white and one side black but it's the opposite side so let me turn it around so when you wear them this side is black on the trousers and this side is black on the top so if you see here there see it's like opposite black white white black and i just thought that looked really cool and i needed some more like loungy stuff because i'm like i said i'm sick of wearing the same stuff and they're cuffed at the bottom which i love um, like I said, I've yet to try them on, but I think they should be a decent length. Oh yeah, they're fine. They're a good length. So yeah, I'm excited to wear them because like I said, I love a good lounge set. I work from home anyway, so I'm always in the house. Um, and when we go to Scotland, there is nothing around. Like you've probably seen apart from like fields. So I don't really go anywhere. So it's perfect just to lounge around in the house with and keep on while I'm working. So I hope I look as good as Jordan Lipscomb does when she wears hers. Okay, the next thing I got is, I think this is just a jumper. Yeah. Let me see. So it's just a jumper here. It's lovely and thick. Is it thick? It feels thick, but it's also thin, like very autumn-y. Like it's not too thin, it's not too thick. Um, and I thought, again, I could just wear this with like a pair of jeans, tuck it in, ruffle it out, um, or with like another long skirt that I have. Um, and it's just perfect for like just winter, just winter clothes. I thought, oh, I did try this on actually. I tried it on when I was in Stockton. And the one thing about this is that the arms you can probably see are very long so when I had it on it kind of like hangs over the end of your arm and then when you pull it up it's just a bit like bunchy here because it's so long but it's nothing that you can't live with oh now I've got fluff all over my leggings I feel like I should have got like a jumper in a different color because I'm looking at this color scheme and I'm like wow it's so boring <laughs> like literally all I've shown you is grays blacks whites Wow, that's a treat. Grows black and whites. I'm so boring. Maybe I should have got some cardigans that were like purple or something. Like I had some in my basket and I thought, oh, they're a bit too thin there. 
so it's probably not very good for winter it's more like a like a summer cardigan where you've got like a crop top on and like a little thin cardigan okay the next thing that i got is a pair of tights now i have yet to open them uh maybe i should but i thought i'd get some tights because all my tights at home were i'm not gonna lie they have holes in i don't know how they do you know when you pull them up and you're like you catch them with your fingernail happens to me all the time but these actually look really sort of it was very detailed on the crotch area jesus very very detailed on the crotch area but whatever no one's gonna see that but they're really thick really stretchy um let me see yeah they're pretty opaque um does it say what denver they are is that denya den denya how do you pronounce that i'm pretty sure i usually get a 40 but i think this is 120 yeah 120 so they're just really opaque which is perfect and you want to get one pair which is fine and this was like mm, two pound and as you can see i've got a lot of things that i can wear with tights in this haul so they're definitely going to come in handy okay the next uh item i'm very excited for because they look so cozy and i've seen this material all over the place um like especially Primark they're doing a lot of things in this material and it's the teddy bear material and sometimes I think mm, yeah it looks cozy but I feel like I would just sweat in it like I've seen a lot of people with the teddy bear duvets and I get really hot in bed anyway and I hate hate being too hot I would so like I would much prefer being too cold than too hot I get so irritated so aggy I'm like very morny when I'm hot and me and Martin have different body temperatures. So when I'm hot, he thinks it's a perfect temperature. So I'm like, turn the heat down. He's like, no. So we end up squabbling. And I definitely see in our future investing in those blankets where you can turn the heat down on either side. That would be amazing. Anyway, um, yeah, I ordered this because I just thought they look so, they look so cozy. So hopefully they're not going to be too uh hot but it is just a pair of lounge pants but it's the teddy bear material and oh my god just look at that like it looks so 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 soft uh what size are these okay they're a size medium and just these and again they're cuffed at the bottom which is perfect and oh they're just so soft I don't definitely feel they're going to be really cozy. Although, again, there is fluff all over my leggings. So I'm probably going to have to give them a wash first. I kind of wanted the, you know, like a two-piece where you have like crop top and shorts. But I thought mm, that kind of feeds the point of being cozy. Mm, so I didn't really bother. Um, so I thought I'd try these out. And if I like the material, then I'll probably get some in the summer. Um, like the, the two-piece set. So I'm very excited to wear these. Now I've waited to do this haul so I can actually wear all of this. Well, apart from the stuff that I wore at the weekend. But like the loungewear and stuff. And like I didn't shot any of it on today. So I just put on an old jumper. So I can't wait to wear it. Um, and then the last thing that I've got is... Oh my God, it's a bit of colour. Can you believe? I actually got some colour in this monochrome haul. And it is this lovely little corduroy skirt which is this here. Now, I know what you're thinking. Caroline, it looks a little short. I was thinking the exact same thing. So, but when I put it on, it's not, I haven't tried it on yet, but I'm hoping it's not that short. So I was thinking, like with a pair of um, tights, some boots, um, I don't know what I would put on top. Maybe just like a little cardigan or that grey jumper. Um, pop that on and it'd be a nice little cute autumn autumn winter outfit um yeah so i thought me it looked really cute on the on the um model and the reviews were really good um although i will say like the button here feels a little flimsy let me just try and open it if i can like it feels really thin here um, it is really thin material, I'm not gonna lie, but I like it anyway, and like I said, like, I needed a bit of colour in my wardrobe, so this was your go. But yeah, I'm excited to wear that, because I feel like it's just really cute, and 
I think, oh my god, I'm covered in like fluff and string. Um, yeah, I'm excited to wear that and pair it with something. But like I said, I don't go anywhere. So this is something that I kind of want to wear when I'm like, when I get to go somewhere. Wherever that is, I haven't got a clue. Maybe I'll just shut it on to walk around in the cottage with when we get back to Scotland. Um, and that is it. We are out of stuff um, for the haul. Now, I can't, part, part of me kind of feels like that was a little boring um, for you to watch, for the three people that watch these videos to watch. Was that a little boring? Um, I'm really sorry if it was. Like, I feel like, like the clothes that I got maybe were a little boring and a little, like I said, they're all the same colour, but that's just what I wear, I guess. Not that all my clothes are boring. I like to wear little quirky things, but all my little quirky things are like crop tops and the more summer, uh, summer style, like quads and um, like little uh, bright tops and stuff. Like, oh, like I said, I didn't have any winter stuff. Maybe I do need to invest in some colourful clothes, but probably won't be buying clothes now for a long time. Um, because number one, Christmas is coming. And I have done all my Christmas shopping. Props to me, I started in like August because I really needed to be organised this year. Um, so I'm actually finished. Uh, but Martin's birthday is coming up in December and I have already bought him his presents, but I do want to get, I need to get him a card and get some bits and bobs to like decorate the place like balloons and a cake and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, I know I'm not the best at doing this stuff, so just let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, right, I hope you're all safe and well. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you're in lockdown and working from home and literally not doing anything, like not going anywhere, then I hope you are okay um, mentally and physically. And yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.